Guys, so as you can tell, I only have one eye done, so that means that I'm gonna do my project pan look. Sorry I didn't get it up like I said, but I tried it as a get ready with me and it just was not working. So I think I'm just gonna do like one eye from now on and maybe that'll be a little bit easier. So this is just kind of a test run, but I really wanna get this up because I really like this eye look. And it's so crazy how much different this eye looks than this one with no eyeshadow, it's creepy. But anyway, let's just get started. First thing I have already done is I primed my eyes with the little rack behind the, behind the scenes eye primer. I don't really like this that well, but just trying to use it up. And I won't be showing you my actual palette. Um, I'll just be referring to the shades and then I will post a picture of the shade on the screen while I'm using it. Just so if you don't know what shade I'm talking about, it'll be on there for you to see. So the first thing I'm going to do is use my color tattoo and barely branded to uh, put on my lid okay and I'm gonna do this off camera really quick so I'll be back okay so I got that done um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna do my crease whoa okay <laughs> I'm gonna take the Sigma tapered blending e40 brush and put naked and buck into my crease and I just do like a swap of naked swap of buck and then I go back to naked and then tap off the excess. And I'm just gonna do this very lightly into the crease. Even though it doesn't look that light on camera. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna stop there for now because I'll come back for that in a minute. I'm going to take the Sigma Eye Shading E55 brush, flat shader brush, and go into Sin. And I'm going to apply Sin onto the first, like, third of my eye. So like that. I feel like this needs to be closer, but then I feel like that's kind of creepy. Okay, we'll just, okay. Then I'm going to take Toasted. I'm just going to flip the brush over and use Toasted on the rest of my eye and that's what that should look like and I kind of just placed it over top of the where it, they meet so it'll blend a little better but I'll go back in with the um, blending brush in a little while and uh, blend it out a little more. Now I'm going to take this Eco Tools brush and it's called the highlighting brush and I'm going to apply Hustle to my outer corner just a little light but it always gets really dark so I always say I'm doing it lightly but then it gets real dark as you can tell. So I just stamp it in the outer area and then I'll take it into the crease a little bit drag it down crease and that looks pretty good do I need to turn this way? I don't know I feel like this is a weird angle I guess I should have done this. I, I thought it'd be better if I did it the right eye, but I think that was a bad decision. Okay. And I'm going to go back in with this brush, just not applying any more product, and just blend all this out. And I'll go down onto the uh, Hustle color to blend it on the eyelid. Really focus on in, focusing on blending the outer portion this brush does your all's brushes this brush the e40 shed like I don't know what I hate this brush because of it I like this brush but it sheds like every day okay so I think that looks pretty even so there's the eye then I'm going to take wet n wild brulee as my highlight and I'm also going to use it to clean up the outer 
edge of my and I need my mirror so hold on just kind of stamp it and then rub it a little bit just to clean up the edges so the next thing I'm gonna do is take this buxom hold the line waterproof eyeliner and call me and this is really great for the waterline so um, I'm gonna top line with this and I'll be back because I'm not about to show that on camera because that's in weird okay now my eyes watering like a mad woman but whatever so I done that and then now I'm going to apply three different mascaras on the top lashes I'm going to apply the voluminous miss manga manga um, this I love this look how good that makes my lashes look I love it then I'm going to use the Clinique bottom lash mascara on my bottom lashes obviously and then I'm going to use the Anastasia last genius waterproof top coat on both bottom and top oh, wait I skipped a step sorry guys now I'm going to take this eco tool smudge brush and get virgin and put it on my inner corner So that is that look. Um, I really like how it looks. Wow, that was really awkward. <laughs> and the lip product that I'm using with it is the All May Color Plus Care Liquid Lip Balm. I love this shade. It's in the shade Blooming Balm. And it's just a really nice pink color, so if you have dry lips, this is actually really good. And it just has a uh, doe foot applicator. So that is the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, if you have any suggestions of how I could film this or anything like that, just leave them down below. And I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.